We have the Insta360 ONE RS for the very first time getting it set up. We need to have the Insta360 app. We open it up. Now, what we're going to be doing is just, you know, clearing everything out, get it ready for hooking up the camera. What I want to do is find the on button, which is towards the center of the camera. We hear the alarm. We see the light flickering. And we may need to put in an SD card. We are first going to choose a language of English. We hit the upper right hand corner, the check mark. Insta360, install Insta360 app and connect the camera. We are looking for the one RS with the serial number and we click on it. Connecting to Bluetooth. So now this is getting ready to set up. Firmware update 1.4.57. This firmware is for the use for the new one RS. In post flow state, new FPV drone in action, FOV options, webcam mode is now available. Start the download. Download new firmware. Upload firmware file to camera. I did not put an SDXC card in. Connect to phone. Connect the camera to phone. Confirm. No SD card. Instant wants to join the network. Unable to join the network. Fail to connect the camera. Wi-Fi information. Password. Copy Wi-Fi password. Open the systems. Click to set up and connect Wi-Fi. And the reason why we may have failed because there is no SDXC card. You're seeing the distance. I'm formatting a card. I click start. Format's complete. We close down. We're installing a Sandus Extreme Plus card. We're going to locate the side door and we're going to remove the best we can the side port. And we're going to try our best to place in the SD card. Now, I'm not sure which way it goes into this particular device. The front may be facing with the lettering to the front. And yes, it does. And it springs. We want to make sure it locks into place. There we go. Now we're going to make sure we close this port 100%. So it's now 100% waterproof. When we turn on our camera, it's going to ask for English and then we hit the check mark. It's formatting the SD card as well. And it's taking its time. We're almost completed, 50%. This should format it maybe for the first initial time. So every new card you put in, maybe you want to prepare it. So we are going to be in English. Install the Instance 360 app and connect the unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the X button. We're going to hit the, I guess it's a mustard color. It's connecting to Bluetooth. You can see the line down below. It's moving pretty quick. It wants to join. 
75% completed. The screen basically uh, dims down, shuts off. One RS activation. If you don't have an SDXC card in, it's going to give you a connection failure. Why would we always want to activate a camera? Really no need for these things today. Because certain phones may not work. This is an Apple ISO phone. We activate. Activate it, complete it. Register. I want to register later. I don't want to put my name in right now. So can I skip back out? Hit the camera. Preview is compressed. I'm not interested in delay. I'm interested in if I hit the record button. And if I am going to see a live feed. And that is a big plus. This should have auto-rotated for a full screen. It did not. These are the things I'm just pointing out. So I'm all set up. That looks like a highlight. Was stopping everything. Let's just go over and see we have a flicker. I just want to say I registered my camera and that's about it. And I'll go over everything else in a later video. I want to thank you very much for your time.